Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. My name is Sandra Postina. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you've been here for a while, thank you so much. I really, really am so excited because today I'm going to get ready for our second wedding anniversary date at home. <laughs> and also, I'm going to do a whole uh, makeup look. So I'm going to do the filming in studio for free movement. And yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a softer look. Um, a little bit pinkish, a pinkish hue, it's a little bit romantic with some braids. So I've got my hair all braided. So with some braids, very simple braids. And yeah, this is the look that I'm going to carry on the whole day today. I hope you enjoy it. And if you're ready, let's start with the makeup. This is my bare face. <laughs> okay, let's start with the makeup. And start with some chapstick because my lips are exceptionally dry so I like to start by dabbing all of the excess um, face products off my face because as you guys know we are based in Singapore so that's in Asia and it's very very humid in Singapore so you know a lot of people say you can you can uh, leave your hair not washed for a whole week or two weeks for some people or some people also tell us that oh you know they could go um, uh, with their makeup on for the full day it doesn't work in Singapore because it's so humid so yeah a lot of things that we have to do to make sure that it really really stays in place so yes so oh, yes so this foundation is the Innisfree My Foundation 1.5 and this is in the color N22 so one of my favorite foundations smells really smells really great too so yeah I've been using this because of how full coverage it is and my complexion hasn't been the best although it's already better <laughs> because growing up I've had um, to deal with many issues with the complexions and stuff like that so yeah, so this is, I'm just using a wedge, a sponge wedge that I got from Daiso. I need to get a beauty blender. I don't have a beauty blender. <laughs> so I'm doing this in the studio. Um, yeah, we're just still renovating the studio, doing up the, the false ceilings and the partitions and stuff like that. So I didn't want to buy a beauty blender because, you know, it's still a little bit... It can get a little bit dusty around so I do intend to go and get one mm, next few weeks or so it's been a long time since I did a makeup video <laughs> very long time free movement has um taken a lot of my life <laughs> so I did prioritize free movement over my love for makeup and I freakishly love makeup <laughs> So I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Sharing about my life as an entrepreneur, as a female entrepreneur in Singapore. And um, hopefully this will inspire more women and more people in Singapore and all around the world because there's so many things I wish I would have known. And yeah, saving you all the heartache and the pain. So I'm doing my makeup today because so excited! It is our second wedding anniversary today, 3rd of August. Um, so I married Hashley Liu, the love of my life, um, in 2019, 3rd August 2019. And today is our wedding anniversary. And yesterday was my dear tiger. Tiger is our dog. It's not a tiger. <laughs> was dear tiger's birthday as well. So yesterday was his ninth birthday. What a big baby. So he, we got a birthday cake for him. We went to the mall to get a cake for him. Wish I would have handmade it, to be frank. You know, using organic peanut butter and stuff like that. But yeah, I didn't quite do that. So anyways, we got the cake and Lots of other muffins and stuff like that as well. Okay. I'm not gonna cake up too much foundation today. And I'm going to use the 
the Big Cover Concealer. This is by Etude House. Yep. In the color N04. I'm using N04. So I'm kind of doing like the Wayne Goss method, which is to um, not do up the entire eye bag area, which is just to kind of like lift it up. So that's kind of Wayne Goss technique that I'm going to doing. But you should go check him out. He's amazing. I usually like to grab a little bit of foundation and just dab it all in. So yeah, so besides our wedding anniversary and Tiger's birthday yesterday, so today I'm going to do a lot of filming for free movement. I want to improve our product pictures. I'm going to take some social media shoots. And so free movement has two brands. So we have our free movement solutions brand where we have dance classes and we also sell Marley mats, ballet bars, mirrors and stuff like that. And then I have my other free movement brand, which is our sewing brand. So our sewing brand, um, teaching people how to sew, uh, and we specialize in stretch fabrics, like spandex, stretch mesh, four-way stretches, two-way stretch. So if you want to learn how to sew, go follow us. We have a YouTube channel as well. So that's at Free Movement Sewing. And then on Instagram, it's at Free Movement Sewing as well. And um, for Free Movement Solutions, it's just Free Movement Solutions. So, like, putting it out there. So much love I have for what I do. And I hope you find what you love to do too. And do it. For a living. A beauty blender will have been so much easier. Because you wet the beauty blender. And it just is not as sticky as if it were this wedge. So, yeah, I definitely would have much preferred. Alright, now that I've got my base done, I'm going to do a very simple, um, I'm going to use the Revlon Photo Ready today because I want it fast for today. So I'm going to use the Revlon Photo Ready and um, this is in the color 110 Ivory. So it's the two-way foundation. So I'm going to use the sponge that came with it and I'm just going to dab it in actually. So... Just gonna it's like I never realized that at 30 years old I would have so many wrinkles already. But I do think it's from all the hard work that free of me <laughs> that has given me many sleepless nights, needs to say. So I'm just gonna powder the whole entire face and just pack it up. Not forgetting my neck. Sometimes I get it like all over my hair. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go do my eyebrows next. So I'm in a soft romantic feel because you know it's like anniversary and it's the second one. So I'm gonna not do such a dark brown today, but I'm gonna go for something lighter and softer. So do my best. So I'm using the Etude House Drawing Eyebrow. So this is one of my faves. So I did tattoo my brows um, a long time ago. Not, not, not that long. Maybe last year. Yeah, I tattooed it last year. Didn't quite like the shape to be frank. So, oh crap. So I find myself having to redo the shape and stuff like that. But I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to stick to the shape that's already tattooed because to change it would take a lot of effort. Right. They be sisters today. Not twins. Sisters. Just for today. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to use the MAC Paint Pot. This is the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. This is the Pro Longwear Paint Pot. Yeah, so this is one of my faves. See how long I've been using it. <laughs> I'm just gonna erase away all of the excess on the eyes. Then I'm just gonna use my fourth finger. That's what I usually like to use. Some people use brushes, but 
quite like the warmth of the fingers that help to spread it out. Spread, spread, spread. Yep. And I'm going to be in like aircon the whole day, so I'm not using a lot. But typically, if I'm out running, oh, I'll set everything in place. Like, I like the Urban Decay um, eye primer, and that, that really sets everything in place. And I will make sure that, you know, even when I'm doing my foundation, I'll be using the setting spray and then setting everything because it's so humid in Singapore, and I've got like oily face. So like a mix, like some parts dry and then the T-zone's like really oily. So yeah, I it depends on what kind of makeup I want to do. So but today I'm going to be in aircon the whole day, so I'm not too worried. As for colors, eyeshadow colors, I'm going to use this palette. I don't know the name of this palette. This is the Sephora palette. It's Palette Delicate Nude Makeup Eye Palette. This one from Sephora, it's soft. I quite like the feel of it. So soft. So it has very neutral, very feminine shades. So let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this one over here. Not idea what there's no name. Anyway, this one, this particular palette, the shadow breaks really easily. So I am going to be a little bit more gentle with it. And the colors for this, like the pigmentation is not a lot, so I don't have to be very careful with it, which is a good thing. I don't have to really think too much about how much product I'm doing, how much blending I need to do. So I'm just going on top of my eyelids and then, because it's so soft, and then I'm kind of bringing it under as well. By no means am I a professional at this, okay? I just like to do things to look pretty, to feel good, to feel ready for the day. I don't know, like, there are so many times, you know, when running free movement, that I feel like, um, I feel so unsettled in the day because I don't have my makeup on and I'm not dressed up, I don't feel good, so this is part of empowerment, so I think it's really important anyway. So you can see, like, the... Shadows are actually super, super, super light, so that's why I'm not too worried about it. But anyway, I'm going to go in with this shade over here. Again, there is no name, but let me just pack that in. Leaving the center part. Okay. And again, I'm using the same brush. I'm just kind of cleaning on the tissue paper. And then I'm going to grab a slightly darker shade. I think this time around, I'm going to go for... Hmm, I'll probably go for this one over here. Okay, I'm probably going to mix a little bit of this too. The tail of the eye. Tail, tail, tail. Oh, this brush, I don't know where I got it from. So long ago. Okay, so to create that romantic look, the eye bag look, I'm gonna use my eye bags which are already very obvious here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna create a line. So I'm gonna use the, the again I'm mixing these two. And I'm kinda doing this. <laughs> and then I'm gonna create that little line. Not that it's not dark enough, really. I mean, it totally is. Do the same for the other side. It's like naturally one eye is a lot more than the other already. I have no idea why. <laughs> it's just like that. Okay, so once I'm done with that, I am going to use my fingers. Let's pick up this one here. It's like a champagne-y. A little bit of a metallic sheen. I'm gonna just gonna pop it right in the center. Same for the other side. And I'm gonna do it for this area here as well. Okay, I'm gonna do it in the inner corner of the eye too. Because I quite like that to pop. A lot of people. Okay, 
I'm done with the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead to pop on the lashes. So I have a couple of different ways I usually do this. I'm reusing this lashes, so don't mind me. I'm just trying to remove the glue from yesterday. So there are a couple of ways that I do this. Sometimes I do the eyeliner first. Sometimes I do the lashes first. So today I'm gonna do the lash method. Anyway, I'm using the Ardell Lash Glue, clear ones, and I like to pop the lash glue on my hand and instead of putting it on the lash because, you know, it gets so messy. Using my tweezers and I just kind of do this. I think I learned this from watching Pony. Pony syndrome, pony makeup. So, this was what I learned, and I actually really liked it because I think this makes it a lot cleaner in terms of the application. And instead of squeezing the eyelash glue directly on the eyelashes, sometimes it gets everywhere, right? So, I kind of do this and then wait for it to get a little bit tacky, and then I'm gonna put it on. And grab this. Okay, so I've got one side on. Gonna move on to the other side. So, for those of you guys who didn't know, I did do my own hair and makeup for the wedding. Trust me, don't do that. <laughs> Get someone to help you. I don't know, I was crazy. I was doing everything for the wedding. I remade Asha's mom's wedding dress. I made um, the bridesmaids and groomsmen's attire. I made all of Asha's suits. It was a lot of work. And um, the bridesmaids also had uh, two different outfits. So there was a lot of things that I did. So if you're getting married, okay. Um, yeah, get help, get help. I just did a bridal face mask for one of my girlfriend's wedding, so that her name is Jialan, and she just got married. I just did a bridal face mask for her, and um, it has lace on it, and it has like Swarovski rhinestones on it. It's super cute. Okay, doing the other eye. Alright, now waiting for the glue to dry, so while doing that, I'm just gonna do the contours. So let's use the Bahama Mama by The Balm. And I'm gonna start with the nose contours first. So I'm just grabbing a brush and then I'm going to kind of do like a little motion coming in and snatching the nose. So it brings the contour of the nose a lot. So when we used to do dance performances last time, this would always be something that I would do for myself or the other dancers because it really brings the nose out, especially if you're on stage. So this is something that I don't want to miss, you know, like it's so important. And makeup is really a way to, you know, kind of express yourself. Which is why I was so big into makeup, you know, when I was in school. Because it really felt like that was one of the ways to express my creativity. So I'm going to do it in between here too. Okay, here. To create that little lip look. Okay. And then... This is the angled brush that I like to use for the bronzers. This is the Burberry number no. one angled brush. No idea. Anyway, got this a long time ago. So I'm kind of just dabbing in because this Bahama Mama one is actually really dark. So I'm just going to go really light. I'm just going to go really light. So, whoo, see that. Just warming up the face. Dropping a lot of bristles today. Okay, going down along the cheek line. And then just warming up the temples. This is important to warm up the temples, the cheekbones. 
looks okay so i'm gonna do the blush so i'm gonna use this one today this is the sd lauder the sd edit the breast blush in 02 koi coral this one i got in the states when we could travel to the states <laughs> this is what i got there and um okay i'm using the real techniques multitask brush so what i like to do is i kind of dab it in and then i kind of go along like this area over here ever since tiktok <laughs> my blush has been going higher and higher <laughs> and redder that's for sure go follow us on tiktok too if you like you look a bit sunburned <laughs> <laughs> this will be the last day I'm using these lashes feeling a bit uncomfortable already but never mind I will just deal with them today now that the eyelash glue has completely dried I am going to do our eyeliner this is my all-time favorite eyeliner this is the Gosh Extreme Liquid Gel Eyeliner in 001 Black but I don't know if I can get this anymore i probably used like 20 bottles in my life because it's so pure and black and thick and it's nice, you know, and it stays in the humid weather. Oh my god, this is one of my favorites. But anyway, I pair this, I pair this usually with another eyeliner because the tip is looks like that. So yeah, I usually pair it with another eyeliner anyway. Okay, I'm gonna go in. And um, let's see, hopefully you can see this. And do a little tail. I'm going to create this with the gosh eyeliner first. And then um, later I go on with a sharper eyeliner and just fine tune the details. Okay, so once I think it's kind of balanced, I kind of go in with my skinnier eyeliner if i could say that <laughs> okay today i'm using the attitude house drawing show brush liner so it comes with a sharper tip so i kind of go in between where the lines were drawn so that it becomes a lot fuller Okay, I'm gonna draw the inner corner a little bit so it really brings out the eyes. Does that make sense? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna do that anyway. Okay, I just kind of drew it in so from the side it just looks, makes the eye look a lot bigger and it's gonna pop so yeah. Okay, and then what I like to do after this is I like to use back the Etude House Drawing Brow and using the angled side, I'm going to kind of draw it downwards. Okay, and then after this, I'm gonna grab a mascara and I like to use, all my mascaras are waterproof because you know in Singapore it's just it would smudge if it's not waterproof, okay? So, um, this is the Voluma Slash Paradise Waterproof Mascara by L'Oreal in Blackest Black. I like this brush. It's a very full brush. Super full brush. I like it. So anyway, I'm going to do the bottom mascara. See how thick it is? I love it. Done with that, and um, I'm gonna do some highlighter. And for the highlighter, I'm gonna use this one. This is the Chanel Satin de Chanel Silk Dream Radiance Compact Powder. This one is actually really old. <laughs> it's been really long time. So anyhow, I'm still gonna use it because I like this. I'm gonna use the Real Techniques 
don't know what brush this is. Anyway, the purple color one. Some of the ends got really sticky, so I threw them away. But anyway, this one's not yet very sticky, so I'm just gonna grab some. Could use the ones from the palette as well, but okay, anyway. Just gonna create some highlights. This is like a very pinkish hue. So I think it brings it all in very nicely together. I'm using a small brush because, you know, it's a lot more specific where it needs to go. I'm going to do it in the inner corner of the eye as well. Probably going to use my fingers after this because I know myself. <laughs> and I'm going to grab some more of the Cupid's bow. And... Here. Okay. Last thing I'm gonna do would be the lips. So let me choose a lip color. Okay, I'm gonna use this. So this is the YSL Rouge Per Couture the Mats. So it's a matte lipstick by YSL in the color 202. So it's like a it's like a reddish pinkish hue so I quite like this and this stays like a really long time which is why I really really like this so for the to bring the whole look in today I'm going to be very specific um, with the shape of the lips and stuff like that so yeah so what I like to do is so anyway I've already concealed the lips quite a bit so I'm just gonna pack it in the center kind of like that then, I'm gonna grab a cotton bud. This one has like one side pointy tip. Then I'm gonna use the regular side. And I'm gonna stain it with the lipstick that's already on my lips. Like that. And then, what I'm gonna do is I'm kinda shaping it in this way. So it doesn't matter if it's a bit uneven because I'm going to use the wedge later to kind of pack it in. But anyway, this is kind of what I do. And I do overline it because I think it makes the lips look a lot peltier and bigger from far. So yeah, like here. Okay, so this is what it kind of looks like now. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use back the little wedge and I'm going to like do this. <laughs> I'm going to pounce it on. So it gives it a little bit of that ombre look. Um, yeah. And then what I do after that is I kind of make the inner side just a little bit more pinkish red <laughs> by adding just a little bit more. Now the good thing about this particular lipstick is it's matte, that's a good thing, but it also stays a really long time. So like after eating, I don't have to keep reapplying, so that's important. To me, at least. Okay, once I'm done with this, I take another piece of tissue paper, and I kind of do like the Chinese thing. <laughs> That you always see in movies, right? Like they always, the way they put the lipstick last time was that they would like kind of um on the piece of paper, like red paper. I'm going to do that, but that's because I want to remove the excess lipstick and um, I want to just pack powder in so it really stays, so. Mm -hmm. Excess. And see, the good thing about this lipstick is the color still stays. And you know, if I were to run my fingers um, on it now, because now I've removed the excess, right? No lipstick stains. Which is great because, you know, when I'm drinking, you know, water and stuff like that, I kind of don't want the lipstick stains to be there. I don't know. Like, because I always cap my bottles, so it'll be harder to wash in that sense. So I try my best to do that. Okay, so I think I'm done. Done with the makeup, and now the last thing to do would be my fixing spray. This one is so important, especially in Singapore. This is the Etude House Fix and Fix Fixer. <laughs> fix and Fix Fixer. 
missed. Yeah. So I'm just gonna spritz this. Alright, once I'm done with that, it's gonna air dry, removing this clips. And um, since today I am going to um, do a little bit of a romantic look, <laughs> I'm actually gonna just braid my hair. So if you already know, I do have very long hair and it's gonna grow longer. So okay, let me just push up and... Um, I'm just gonna grab a hair tie so to bring the whole look in okay can I use pink or brown okay let's use the pink one today so I kind of already parted my hair so I'm quite okay with this so I blow dried it last night I'm okay with this so I'm just gonna grab all make sure that all of my hair is over to this side Gonna grab my brush. Uh, this brush is the freestyle brush. No idea. I had this. I got this like a long time ago. Brush it all out first, so it's easier to braid the hair. So I feel like it's so funny because like sometimes when there's hair around the room, you know, I was like, Sandra, it's your hair. I'm like, how do you know it's my hair? I'm like, because no one else's hair is so long, right? So, can't run away there. Yeah, I do love long hair. I think long hair is nice. Okay. Anyways, after I've brushed out the hair, I have a little bit of a short fringe here, so I'm just gonna leave that. And then, I'm just gonna start by doing like, on top of my ear. I'm just gonna go from here, and I'm just gonna grab the hair this way. Okay, and then I'm going to grab two parts. Oh, how do I show you? Grab two parts and I'm gonna cross this over. Grab the center piece. Grab the bottom. I don't really know how to explain to you how I do this, but this is just what I've been doing for a long time and it has worked. And I think it looks quite pretty. So this is what I've been doing. So if you want a tutorial on this, feel free to comment down below. <laughs> so I know and I can do a tutorial on it. Okay, so I finished braiding this to the lowest point it can go then I kind of hold it there first because I want to open up the braids so because this is still very tight and I want the, I want the braids to actually look big so what I do from here is I kind of just lightly like tug it in fact I'm bringing the first one lower and then gently just Hugging the pieces to be slightly looser so you can see how much bigger it actually looks. So I typically do one side first and then I move over to the inside piece. So I go a few tries until I am happy with the look. I'm going to go all the way to the end. This piece is so small. Okay, so this is what I have now for the braid. It looks quite cute. So, okay, I'm not really feeling this hair tie, but yeah, maybe I'll go with the brown one. Okay, I'm going to go with the brown one. Just a brown hair tie. I need to get new ones. I'm just going to wrap it around many times and then I'm going to tug it some more 
it's like the end here. It's gonna tug it a little bit as well. Okay. So now that I have this, I'm not gonna hairspray it today because I'm not gonna wash my hair today. But yes, this is how I kind of would leave the hair. I don't know, if I had like some pearl clips, I guess I would just clip them here. I might get some later, I don't know, see how. But yeah, this is the final look for the hair. I'm just going to bring the side pieces down. And the side pieces here. I've got some pieces here down. So yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this whole look over here. So this is a very simple look with braided hair, very simple braided hair, nothing too fanciful. I hope that you really enjoyed this video and you've got some tips and tricks from it. But if there's anything that you'd like to watch, feel free to drop it down in the comments below and let me know as well. Alright, so go check out my brand. So my brands are Free Movement Solutions and Free Movement Sewing. So if you're looking for anything, my team is also here to always support you. So go out there, chase your dreams, go out there, fulfill your passion and be excited every day. Do your makeup if you like, dress up if you like, do your hair if you like. But most importantly, be happy in all that you do, alright? During these very trying times, I understand how crazy it can be, but we will get through this and we will always, always do it together better. So it will mean so much to me if you can like and subscribe down below. And remember to turn on the notification bell so that you know when a new video comes up next week. So every week I have a new video coming up. So definitely come back next week and see what we have in store for you. And I'm so excited to always be here to support you in your journey towards an entrepreneur life as well. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!